We are on Chagiga Peragil Mamish Nebet. We're going to continue talking about Tuma and Tahara, and we're talking about the differences between Kodesh and Truma. We're talking about the different levels of Hagdarot, Dargot, excuse me, of Kedusha, and we are talking about the level of three and four, the differences between Truma and Kodesh. Let's go back to our Mishnah. Kelim and Nigmarim Bitahara. The person is making a Kli. He's making, he's a potter, and he's making a, 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 an earthenware, uh, I don't know, whatever, jug. So, if it's Nigmarim Bitahara, Tzrichin Tvila La Kodesh, Avalo Bitruma. Uh, let's not see what's pottery, because pottery is, well, yeah, I guess you can be tovel if it's not totally tamay. Whatever. I'm not sure. You're making a, I don't know, a kiddush cup. So you have to, it has to be immersed if you want to use it for kodesh, even though he finished it, he fired it. A kli is not makabel tuma until you finish it. You fire it in the kiln or whatever. You fit until it's finished and ready to use. So the guy finished it, and he's someone who's careful. He's a chaver. He was very careful once you started finishing it. He was very careful. Uh, not to, uh, he was very careful that, that it would not become Tameh. Nonetheless, even for Kodesh, you have to, Tzarechin Litvila, Avalo Litruma, but you don't have to for the sake of Truma. Meaning, if you're, if you're using it, if you intend to use it for, for, for Tvila, then you have to be careful, you have to do Tvila, excuse me, for Trum, for Kodesh, I'm getting confused, then you have to do Tvila, you have to put it in the mikvah. But if you're using it for Truma, then you can use it. Why? The commentary says, Okay, we're afraid that maybe when his friend, Amar Aretz, who's not careful, was talking to him, a little spit came out and landed on the Kli, and then it became Tameh. Okay, and, and, and maybe afterwards it became Ra'ulika Beltuma, whatever. You see how careful they were for Kodesh, how ridiculous, I wouldn't say ridiculous, how stringently careful they were. Hakli next halacha. Hakli mitzareif et mashe b'tocho la kodesh. Avalo the truma. Let's say I have okay a kli, so so a, a vessel, and I have different. So I have different. Uh, let me see if I can find it here. Let's go here. We'll find out a plate of food. Okay. So let's say so the, the, all these all these food is all this food is in the same kli. So the question is, I have now lettuce. The lettuce here became tame, but this lettuce doesn't touch this lettuce. So therefore, if this became tame, does this become tame? So the Mishnah says, the kli, mitzarev mashabotocho, if they're all in the same kli, then the kli will, litzarev means to include that which is all that was in it to be a kitame for kodesh, but not for truma, only in truma, only if this is touching that, like if this became tame midrabanan, then the, this can become a shlishi lituma. We'll see in a second what I'm talking about. Whereas if it's all in, but the, and the kli doesn't make it because it's all in the same kli, it's not Tame. Whereas for Kodesh, if, the, if you're in the Beit HaMikdash, and they had, you know, there's no chicken in the Beit HaMikdash, well, maybe they had birds, whatever. They're eating their skewered meat, their delikonim are eating in the Beit HaMikdash, their korban chatat meat. And they got a little lettuce, and they got some tomatoes and onions, because of course you can't just eat meat. If it's all in the same kli, and one thing becomes Tame, it's all gone. Harevi'i ba Kodesh pasul, vashlishi ba truma. This is a very basic halacha, very one of the basic halachot of Tuma and Ta'ara. We've learned this before. It's really important. So these are the levels of tuma. Person, God forbid, dies. A dead body is called avi avot tuma, or, or metal touching the, a dead body while he's while he's touching the dead body. It's avi avot tuma. Someone touches a dead body, he becomes an avat tuma, or not only touches in the same building. Essentially, all of us today are avat tuma, and the only way to get out of being an avat tuma is the para aduma, the mechatat. It's called. After that, there are levels of tuma. If an av touches somebody else, or, or, or kelim, or whatever, that's, that's called, the, the kli becomes rishon the tuma. I touch this cup, the cup is a rishon the tuma. Okay? If food goes into that cup, or touches it, it becomes a sheni the tuma. That's all for chulin. Now, the next level, shlishi the tuma, if that food touches truma, then the truma is pasul, that's called shlishi. And if that food, that truma touches other truma, that's fine. But if that truma touches kachim, then it's revi'i tuma. That becomes a revi'i tuma. And that's what our Mishnah says. Revi'i, ba kodesh pasul. If it's kodesh, then it's pasul. Ba shlishi, and a shlishi is ba truma. U ba truma initmet achat mi adav. Let's say I'm holding truma. I want to eat truma. And my other hand touches something that it's not allowed to touch. It, you know, becomes tamay mi adayim. Chabatat tehora. The other hand is fine. U ba kodesh, but if I'm eating kodesh, matbir shteyem. Remember, it's not even a tila yadayim. I have to do tvila of both my hands. Because one hand is her friend, the other hand, if I'm dealing with Kodesh, 
but not with truma. So here we see another halacha where we're more makpid on truma than in kodesh. The bartuner adds all kinds of things. Let's say that if, if your hand is still dirty, if it's wet, then for truma, we're very wetness makes everything truma de rabbanan. But whatever, we're talking about dry hands, whatever. We're more makpid, makpid on truma, on kodesh, and we are on truma. We'll stop here. As we always do, dedicate our learning to memory of my father, Rav Simcha Be'Yitzchak Kalman. Have a good day.